Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crop a video in Adobe Premiere Pro. So crop is a pretty general term, and there might be a few different things that you're thinking of. So I'm going to show you those few different methods and all the different ways that you can crop. So sometimes when you think about cropping into an image, you might just be thinking about like zooming in, for example. And in this case, whenever you have a clip highlighted, you can go to the effects control panel. You can use the scale parameter and you can simply kind of scale in, kind of get a closer crop, for example, and you can move the position back to where you want it since you now have a bit of play. So we've taken this regular size video clip at 100% scale and we've kind of cropped in, as you might say. However, that's not the only definition of crop that you might have. The other definition of crop is there's actually a crop effect. So in the video effects folder, in the you can just search for crop, but it's in the transform folder. And you can add this onto your clip. And in the same effects control panel on the left hand side, you now have this new crop parameter and all these different sides that you can crop left, top, right, bottom. And you can go from zero to 100%. So in this way, you can crop out a side or half of an image you can crop out whatever else parts of an image that you want and then if I were to want to put text or other background layers behind this they would show up there so this is like a way that you can stack different video clips and crop out parts of an image or crop out parts of a photograph whatever layer you want can be useful there's also two other buttons here though there's the edge feather which allows us to do like this soft kind of crop, blurs out those edges in or out. And then there's also the zoom button. So what the zoom button does is it takes these edges that you crop and it stretches them and pins them back out. So it is kind of cropping in like the first way I showed you, but in this case, it's not proportional and you're getting this weird stretch unless you make sure the crop on all sides was proportional. So it's kind of hard to get the percentage ratio for like a 1920 by 1080 sequence. So, you know, using the zoom effect, I don't really do too often unless it's like a special case. Aside from the crop effect, there's also a few others that do similar things. Like in the transition folder, you have the linear wipe effect. And this kind of gives you just a straight linear wipe. But you can also move that on the sides. And it's a similar type of crop, but more like a, a wipe that you're supposed to animate. And if you ever are working with any of these effects and you use keyframes, which is this stopwatch icon right here to toggle animation. If I toggled the top and bottom animation, for example, at zero, and then made them go to like 15% each, we now get this cinematic kind of crop in effect that happens between the two keyframes, which can be interesting. It's obviously not a real letterbox or aspect ratio and that gets into the last way that you can think about cropping is right now i'm working just with a 4k sequence you might be working with a 1080p sequence but what if i actually wanted to crop the canvas size and not just the video that's where you can go to sequence sequence settings and under the frame size here's where you can actually change the frame size so whether that's changing it to something like 1920 by 1080 standard 16 by 9 HD or changing it to something like 1080 by 1080 if I wanted to crop it into a square for social media or something. Now we have a square canvas and we can move around the project in this way. Again, if we wanted to make like a post for Instagram or something. So you can change sequence settings and you can also change things when you're exporting media. You can change the video settings. So by default, it will be match source. But if for some reason you want to stretch it or change it here, you can as well. But that's a basic look at different ways that you can crop in your image, different meanings of that word crop. If you want to check out some more split screen type of effects that you can do with crop, I have other videos on my channel that go over that. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.